In the hours after death, a number of cells in the human brain still shows bursts of activity. Researchers at the University of Illinois Chicago have now found some of these cells can remarkably become even more active and swell to enormous sizes. In their newly published paper, scientists have determined the activity as a result of a particular gene expression that increases after death. These zombie genes were identified in fresh brain tissue samples collected during routine brain surgeries. The researchers then analyzed the gene expression at the various intervals to stimulate the post-mortem interval time that has elapsed after death. Does this mean scientists have found a way to revive the dead? The answer is no. Instead, they found the genes were specific to one type of cell the so-called glial cells. Glial cells are an inflammatory type of cell that swelled in size and sprouted long tendrils even many hours after death. Dr. Jeffrey Loeb said that glial cells enlarge after death isn't too surprising, given that they are inflammatory and their job is to clean things up after brain injuries like oxygen deprivation or stroke. According to the expert, the study has many big implications for research using dead brain tissue. In particular, studies that seek out cures for disorders like zitropenia and Alzheimer's disease do not account for the post-mortem cell activity. He also said that most studies assume that everything in the brain stops when the heart stops beating. But this is not so. About 80% of the studied genes remain stable for 24 hours after death, and their expressions did not change much. These included so-called household genes and neuronal genes involved in brain activity linked to memory and thinking. The zombie genes, however, peaked in activity about 12 hours after death becoming more active about the same time neuronal genes were declining.